I think if you approach all media with an open mind, you'll find you enjoy it, whatever the definition of it is. And I think there's a lot of trying to box games gives people expectations that are perhaps unrealistic and may stunt their enjoyment. So having an open mind is most important when approaching games that are not quite so game-like as you know, AAA or even indie with a capital I games are. The things I'm most inspired by aren't within the constraints of the things that I'm creating most of the time. For example, the biggest inspiration for Highland is nature, is biology, is science, not necessarily other games. There's, there's bits and pieces of other games that have inspired me, inevitably, of course. But it's mostly, yeah, just the natural world. And I think if you think too linearly about where you're drawing inspiration from, your project will become linear. Sometimes it's good to look outside the box because it stops you from boxing your project into something that it's not. And it's a subconscious thing we all do. Because inspiration is, it naturally happens without us being fully aware of it. But when people make projects, they often try to say, I want this to be this, 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 just lumped together. And it has this chimera effect rather than, and again, originality, if it's not your goal, that's fine. But it's something to think about. Not trying to just jam a bunch of stuff together, actually having an idea of how they fit together is really, really helpful because it just makes the experience more cohesive.